Hello. Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with Mew Mew Force members Jace. Hello. Captain Soldier 76. Hello there. And they're here to watch me uh, grind for Android 18 while we talk about the KFC changes, <laughs> because uh, this is the only thing I have left to do in Dokkan while I wait for actual new content, but also there's something important to discuss, mainly, I don't know if you know this because I had to break it to Captain, but there are no more potato widgets in KFC. Um, throwback. This is a throwback to one of the older types of videos I used to do, which was just us talking about fast food while I played Dokkan Battle in the background. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to be doing that. All right, so let's start. I'm. Who here has actually had the new fries from KFC? Besides, I, mean, I, I had it. I, Jace, I did you have it? I haven't actually had it. I drove past the KFC. Hold on. Uh -huh. uh, I, dr I drove past the KFC and saw it, but I was so disgusted that I was like, <laughs> no, no, we need to go to Popeyes. This isn't it. <laughs> yeah, it was like you had just been betrayed. Yeah, like I lost in my complete interest. I was like, because I like potato wedges. I like potato wedges too. I always thought that that's what made KFC different is that they had wedges instead of regular french fries. Uh, and also I've had these french fries. They weren't bad from what I've had. Uh, you, when you said that they look like Taco Bell fries, I was like, oh, they, they kind of did look like Taco Bell fries. Well, like, I, like, in the advertisement, they showed them, and I was like, oh, they got kind of that, like, looks like they're seasoned, they're a little crispy, like, thin length, and I was like, oh, those kind of look like the Taco Bell nacho fries. And then I realized, holy shit, those are probably the, the same fucking fries. Because one at Taco Bell, that's only like uh, a seasonal thing. I think they like take them away and bring them back, yeah. like the McRib. And so I figured KFC and Taco Bell. I'm not sure if they're the same company, but they work together so often that I would totally believe that the rest of the year they're like, okay, let's actually send these to KFC. <laughs> that makes that makes way more sense financially. We're just, we're. We're not going to use them anymore. We've already cut the potato griller. We can't have the fries anymore. <laughs> ah, man. If, the thing is, is that when I had it, there was an immediate, like... Because uh, just like you, I had no idea that they had switched the wedges. So I was just like, all right, let's get some KFC. And I was like, oh, yeah. And then when they came here, it was like, by the way, there's no wedges. And I was like, what? What the fuck do you mean there's no wedges? <laughs> Did you forget the bottom? I was like, no, there's only fries. And I was like, what? And then it felt weird because then I had to share fries with family. And that feels different than sharing um, wedges. Because wedges felt like, all right, this is something you can actually share. French fries feel like, to me, at least mainly only to me, feel like a yeah. personal yeah, because wedges are like hefty. They're like large enough. Yeah, they're, no, the, no, no, no. they're they're large I, enough I that. What, um, yeah, you see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Yeah, Fuck wedges that. are big. En the wedges are big enough to make you feel fat if you try and eat them by yourself. <laughs> if they're not in a tiny container, so the wedges are per er ergonomically designed to make you go like, oh yeah, I I need to share this with someone. I can't I can't be seen eating this just by myself. <laughs> This is uh, this need to share. Where the French fries, I feel way more greedy, looking at the French fries because I'm like, oh no. Well, at that point, I should have just bought some French fries for myself as opposed to getting family <laughs> family worth of fries, I guess. Well, let me uh, tell you this then: <clears throat> when when you got the fries and you ate them with your chicken and everything, did did your meal feel complete? No. Did it feel it, no? Right? <laughs> no, it didn't feel right. <laughs> I, I even I took my. Dirty. I even took like my one biscuit and I was like, I guess I'm gonna have to try and make this a thing. Gonna try and see if I can put some gravy on these french fries, see if I can have a better time with it. It just didn't feel the same. It felt like... There, there's like a certain feeling I get from eating, specifically uh, KFC, which is regret, and I felt no regret at the end of it. I felt a different kind of regret. I felt human regret, <laughs> not food regret. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what were you to say, Captain? I was, I was uh, going to say that I, I would feel dirty, but I, I have always preached, going back to the fry thing, 
once I've learned about it, getting some communal fries. And when I say learn about it, meaning uh, I got a job and I could pay for it by myself, I would just get some <laughs> communal fries. I don't tell you no fries. You, bu- you buy an extra extra order of fries so that, you know, on the ride home, if, if you're not, like, tempted to reach into the bag and steal some fries, you don't have to worry about anybody <laughs> grabbing your own fries because you... <laughs> it's, 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 your, it's your side piece? Is that what you're saying? You tell me it's a fry on the side? <laughs> it's the communal fries. It's for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of such a thing. It sounds like a situation where, obviously, the entire family is in the car, or at least you and a couple siblings, and then you're driving, and someone definitely is holding the bag. And one time, someone got real angry. <laughs> By the time you guys got home, the <laughs> bag, well, one box was fucking empty. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny enough, like, I never ate in the car. Like, I always was the one who held the bags, and I guess I now I'm starting to think I only held the bags because I was the one that was least likely to actually go inside and eat it. But no, I think the only one that ever has eaten in the car was my brother, and I remember my mom complaining about it a whole bunch. She was like, he just doesn't wait. He just eats in the car. I was like, well, have you tried telling him to stop? He's like, I can't reach up, I'm driving. <laughs> he just starts eating. <laughs> Uh, look, uh, look I, I'm not saying I'm on I'm on on your mom's side or on your brother's side, but I, I understand both points of view, and I will say that there is a point where a certain level of, of independence was gained, and I and I stopped caring about not waiting until I got home. Because like one time we went to Del Taco, straight up just ate the entire macho size fries. They don't even call it macho size anymore; they just call it large. But that big ass thing, that literally. <laughs> A large cup of fries. I fucking killed that shit. My brother was just like, "What the fuck?" It is, oh my God. Well, you know, maybe it'll happen once I actually start driving myself, and I'm stuck in alone in a car with my food. Okay, well, that's 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 a uh, there's a correlation for for sure. There's a correlation between having the ability to drive somewhere and having disposable income that turns into. Holy shit! Why am I in this drive-through at like eleven at night, getting these fucking cheeseburger and fries or tacos and or anything? Just because at that point in your life, you just fucking can, and no one can stop you. Yeah. You've lived, you've lived in this like cage this entire time, and now you're free to do terrible, bad baby choices. Despite all my rage, I'm just a rat in the cage eating these fries. <laughs> just no on Adam. I guess you're right. It's kind of. I guess it's similar to like when the Amish people um, are allowed to go outside for the first time, and the first thing they do is try and get pregnant or get someone pregnant. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, what, what, what is extreme? It, what, what is it like? Root. Rooshtin or Rooshtin, yeah, where they, where all the Amish say like, listen, if we let the kids go and if they love us, they'll come back, and if not, then may God <laughs> have mercy on these souls, I guess. Yeah, or R- Rammstein, or I think that's the name of a band. I don't think that's a band, band, bro. That's a great Rams- band. Rammstein, dude. That's Rammstein. I'm... <laughs> all right, I'm watch. Put... I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be correct, but we'll fight. We'll figure that out later. Amish paradise. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Amish. Uh, rum, rum spring, rum springa, rum springa. Fuck you guys, that was close. <laughs> Pretty close. For Amish youth, I mean, the rum springa is a rite of passage during adolescence, translated in English to jumping or hopping around. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's like the prince and fucking coming to America. Yes, it's 100% like The Prince and Coming to America. That's what the Amish people... The Amish don't watch a lot of movies, but they have seen Coming to America. (laughs) It's the one they're allowed. They don't watch the one where Harrison Ford played uh, pretended to be an Amish because they see that as devil worship, but the for Coming to America, they're like, yeah, down for it. Uh, But yeah, anyway... What I'm trying to say here is, I can't believe they fucking just got rid of the wedges. That seems like something that is extremely ill-advised. 
And even now when I'm thinking about it, talking to you, I'm like, I can't believe they just... It wasn't even like a slow rollout. There wasn't a, like a fanfare. It wasn't like, the Wedges are leaving. Come to KFC <laughs> while you still have a chance to say goodbye to your good friend Wedges. The Wedges were just fucking... They were just gone. Did you go to the Wedges goodbye party? <laughs> yes. The, the, I would go to like the Wedges farewell tour. I would go to the final, like the Celine Dion final concert. I would go to the final KFC selling Wedges. Um, uh, everyone remember to sign up for the Wokey Patreon so you can get your uh, <laughs> Wedges <laughs> Wedges Reunion Tour shirt. Oh, 100%. It's uh, the Wedges <laughs> Reunion Tour, which is just like a whooper eating some wedges. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but do they still have the, the mashed potatoes, at least? I mean, yeah. What are they going to fucking do? Are they going to ask the mashed potatoes? Are they- I, I mean... Look, maybe, maybe, okay, so I, every every time I've been to KFC in the past couple years, I haven't really gotten wedges. Uh, someone else would give me some of their wedges. As a side, I would always opt for some wet-ass mashed potatoes because those mashed potatoes are ungodly wet for no fucking reason. And some coleslaw because the, the texture of like that and like the mashed potato and the chicken, it's a good mix in my opinion. All I'm trying to say is I want some warm. I can see it on it. See, the thing is, is that I would be with you until I had KFC recently, and they've done dirty the wedges, and now I don't feel, I don't feel right. <laughs> see, um, I was going, I was going to yell at Captain and besmirch him for the fact that it's like, what do you mean you don't get wedges? What do you mean? But the the other sides are really great. Like the other sides are good <laughs> and enjoyable if you like if you're in the mood for them. And the cookie, I get the cookie. But the problem is now we have a side. That's not desired. No, we have a side that did that that paid its way into the KFC menu. It did not <laughs> earn its way like the others. I mean, was that there? Could be a big brain move. This could totally be a big brain move by whatever parent company owns fucking KFC and Taco Bell and Pizza Hut. That's where it's going. The big brain move. To Pizza Hut next. All right, big brain move. We're gonna get rid of the wedges and see if people get fucking talking about it. Well, they're right. They got this one video of people. <laughs> I think. I think the move was, it's 2020, and we're making everyone sacrifice something. Taco Bell, say goodbye to anything with potatoes in it. Anything the with the pizza. Mexican pizza. No Mexican pizza. No, no Mex grillers. No fucking. Spicy potato taco, that shit's gone. You're fucked. Fuck, I never got to try the spicy potato taco. It was You're delicious. God. <laughs> we were the re and then they want us to make it feel like it was our fault. We should have we should have had it when we had the chance. <laughs> we should have ordered Wait. <laughs> that, that reminds me, can I just tell this real quick story real fast? Go ahead. It has to do with work. So like we're we're on our lunch break and like there's a taco bell about a, a 10 minute walk from us you could drive there but i'm i'm, I'm sure most people opt to walk to it because you had to go through like airport style security uh just to get in and out and by the time you do that and get into your car start the engine you're not gonna have enough time so you know you probably just walk to it this dude once i was sitting there like i don't normally eat lunch because i eat before and after he came in he's like hey guys you want you want these nachos i got it but I can't finish it. And it was one of those like party train nachos. And I've seen at least three different people in my life order that thinking they can finish it and they never do. And it was absolute comedy when he laid it down and the entire warehouse just walked up and like two thirds of the giant ass fucking tray was there and it was just gone by the time they left. Wow. I mean, yeah, that that's like when someone in our um, work leaves warm food. It's not expected to last very long. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow the night crew has made it to the the office and there's still warm food. That shit's gonna be gone. We we we, we treat it like it's Lord of the Flies eating piggy or something. Destroy piggy. It's just like all gone. <laughs> all right. I think that's that's enough for this. Thank you guys very much for joining me to talk about the wedges. We all feel very devastated. Obviously, write your congressman and say, please bring back the wedge. Drop whatever you're doing right now for Corona relief. <laughs> bring back the wedges. <laughs> It's very important. Also, we will now have a moment of silence for the wedges. We will. I will show a very beautiful slide in memory, in memory of the wedges. 
Okay, let's let let's start now. All right, we don't have to worry about that because I'm going edit, to edit that in post later. So <laughs> I did not prepare a wedges slideshow for you guys. <laughs>